Hey guys, it's Amy here from Sunshine Functional Healing, and today I'm going to ask you a question. Do men and women handle their emotions differently? Intuitively, many believe that men and women handle their emotions in different ways, but there are certainly men out there who are more emotional and women who are definitely not emotional. It could be a societal aspect where men are taught to man up and keep their emotions in check, while women are told that they are the nurturers in a relationship and that they should be expressing their emotions more readily. The book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus, lays out why we are different from one another. And it could be that these differences really complement each other and help to round out a family. Of course, men and women will continue to complain to their friends about the opposite sex. And it really makes you wonder if this is simply posturing. There are plenty of stories that play off of these differences. While women may believe men are callous and cold, the truth is that men do experience emotions. They just do it in a completely different manner than women. Many men do get choked up when they see an emotional movie. They just really try to keep it in and to try not to let it come to the forefront. Some men have absolutely no problems with expressing these emotions. And there are even women who don't want their men to be too emotional. They may view them as being weak and even when they overdo it as being effeminate. And it's really a delicate balance as they don't want their men completely emotionless. Hollywood movies often really reinforce the stereotypes between men and women. People who grew up watching John Wayne um, in his movies saw the Duke as being a really tough guy. You know, men would model themselves based on his character. And it's not much different with the movies shown today. Another factor that may explain the differences between how men and women express their emotions is one of biology. Women have different hormones than men, right? We all know that. And these hormones can really affect how people feel these emotions. It's really important to note that many studies on the differences between men and women are really centered around the study of the brain. While science has come a long way in the past 50 years um, with all of these different studies, the brain is still a highly complex organ. And in the grand scheme of things, we know very little about it. Therefore, how much do we know about emotions in either sex? What will we know in 50 years from now about the brain? No one can really say for sure, but it is likely to be very different than what is known now. So if you guys have liked this video and found it helpful, make sure you go ahead and check that um, like button. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, make sure you do that so that you are alerted to each new video I put out every week. And um, if you'd like to learn how I can help you with your fibromyalgia, um, whether it's the fatigue, the brain fog, or the chronic pain, I can help you. So click the link below and make sure you schedule a 30-minute complimentary coaching session with me. Thanks.